Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer for the first Sunday in Advent. I do hope that you've recovered from Storm Arwen, that you have your heating and your lighting back on and that you've retrieved your garden furniture and maybe even your trampoline. We Here we are in the first Sunday of Advent. Advent's a time when we traditionally prepare ourselves for Christmas, for Jesus coming to us as a little baby but also a time of spiritual preparation when we reflect on Jesus coming back once more. Tonight I'm using a meditation from Cloth from the Cradle uh, from the Wild Goose Worship Group. But we begin by lighting our Advent candle. As we begin our journey through Advent, we pause to prepare ourselves for the journey. Like Mary, we open ourselves to God's will and we offer ourselves as the carriers of God's kingdom. Here we are, the servants of the Lord. Let it be with us according to God's word. Let us pray. Lord, we begin our Advent journey in stillness and in quietness, open to your way. May the candle we light light our way on our journey and may you be our companion and guide as we travel. Amen. A meditation. It's called When the World Was Dark. When the world was dark and the city was quiet, you came. You crept in beside us. And no one knew, only the few who dared to believe that God might do something different. Will you do the same this Christmas, Lord? Will you come into the darkness of tonight's world? Not the friendly darkness, as when sleep rescues us from tiredness, but the fearful darkness in which people have stopped believing that war will end, or that food will come, or that a government will change, or that the church cares. Will you come into that darkness and do something different? To save your people from death and despair? Will you come into the quietness of this town? Not the friendly quietness, as when lovers hold hands, but the fearful silence when the phone has not rung, the letter has not come, the friendly voice no longer speaks, the doctor's face says it all. Will you come into that darkness and do something different? Not to distract, but to embrace your people. And will you come into the dark corners and the quiet places of our lives? We ask this not because we are guilt-ridden or want to be, but because the fullness our lives, because of the fullness our lives long for depends on us being as open and vulnerable to you as you were to us when you came wearing mo no more than nappies and trusting human hands to hold their maker. Will you come into our lives if we open them to you and do something different? When the world was dark and the city was quiet, you came, you crept in beside us. Do the same this Christmas, Lord. Do the same this Christmas. Let's pray a prayer for others. We bless you, our God, mighty sovereign power, gentle, caring mother, you do not forget your children. 
We bless you, our God, for your great gifts to us. Creation, fragile and fascinating. Scripture, revealing your truth. And you bless us with your forgiving love and the vision of your kingdom, shedding light in our darkness. Bless us and disturb us, God, for that vision of your kingdom. As we voice our hopes to you now, may you strengthen us, reassure us and move us. We pray for those caught up in wars around the world, soldiers, refugees and those who hold fast to the reasons for fighting. We pray for homeless folk, excluded from what the rest of us are doing, cold, struggling to keep a hold of who they are. We pray for folk who are ill, coping with pain, fearing the worst. And for those in the NHS who worry for the future. We pray for nurses and doctors. We pray for those folk struggling in relationships, especially at this family time when the cracks are kept just below the surface. And for the deepest hopes of our hearts, we pray in silence now. Into the mess of this world, a fragile child will come yelling in the night for his mother, needing milk and clean linen. We pin our hopes on you, little baby, our God, pushed out into this world through pain and into poverty. Our God is with us and our hope on this first Sunday in Advent is reborn. Amen. I pray that you have a, a good week and I leave you tonight with this Advent blessing. God of the watching ones, the waiting ones, the slow and suffering ones, the angels in heaven and the child in the womb, give us your benediction, your good word for our souls that we might rest and rise in the kind, kindness of your company. Amen. God bless. Good night.